Welcome to the Great Chefs of Austria. Today we journey to the Four Seasons restaurant in Vienna's Hotel Intercontinental, where executive chef Manfred Buchinger will prepare three dishes that borrow from Vienna's savory past. First, chef Buchinger will give us a new look at a traditional Viennese dish, hot curdle chanterelle soup, followed by a savory approach to a staple of Viennese cuisine, variation on shoulder tip with Savoy cabbage, and concluding with dessert, baked strawberries with white wine parfait. For 30 years, the Hotel Intercontinental has wined and dined famous and not-so-famous visitors to Austria with typical Viennese flair. And since 1981, Chef Manfred Buchinger has been there to help them. That's when he returned to his native Vienna from extensive training with some of the great chefs of France, Holland, England, and Switzerland. He helped the Intercontinental open the Four Seasons restaurant as head chef in 1986. And since 1993, has put his obvious good humor to the test, supervising 62 <laughs> chefs in Austria's that largest kitchen. He begins his menu with a dish that features the delicate, nutty flavor of chanterelle mushrooms in hot curdled chanterelle soup. Chef Buchinger well, begins with a half liter, or about four cups of clear vegetable broth, to which he beats in three whole eggs. Da werden drei Stück Eier hineingeschlagen. Das Ganze verschlagen. Chopped chives is added. Beware of Chef Buchinger's technique, however. The rule here is eyes down, lest an unwanted ingredient be added. Am Schnittlauch schneiden muss man nicht immer hinschauen. Next, the chef chops chanterelle mushrooms. For most of the world, chanterelles are costly imports. Not so for the Viennese, who can find them in the wild on hills outside of the city, as well as in some of the markets. For best results, Chef Buchinger suggests mushrooms that are somewhat dry and firm. The soup is seasoned with salt and freshly ground pepper and the chopped chives and chanterelles are added. Pepper. And a Teil des Schnittlauchs. Die Eier schwammel dazu geben. Malen im Kümmel. The seasoning is finished with ground caraway seed. Abschmecken. The soup is ladled into serving bowls before being covered with plastic wrap and placed in a water bath where it will cook for between 7 and 10 minutes at low heat. With Klarsicht Folie, abdecken.
Wasser soll so leicht perlen. Hineinstellen, zudecken. Und nicht zu heiß, es soll ganz langsam ziehen. Das dauert ca. 7 bis 10 Minuten. The cooked soup is then uncovered and removed from the bain marie. Okay. Es ist ein bisschen heiß, ne? muss ein bisschen vorsichtig sein. and garnished with chopped chives for presentation. favorite dish of Emperor Franz Joseph, who reigned over the now defunct Austrian Empire for nearly 70 years. As such, boiled beef, not to mention Franz Joseph, continue to be favorites of the Viennese. Chef Buchinger presents this homage to both with his own variation on shoulder tip with Savoy cabbage. He begins with a two pound piece of organically grown shoulder tip beef roast and then blots the blood. Im Schulterblatt. Das ist ein Rind aus artgerechter Tierhaltung. Organic Grown. Das Blut abwischen. Das Wasser muss kochen. Dann wird das Fleisch. The beef is then placed into about two quarts of briskly boiling water. Bekommen Sie nur eine gute Suppe und das Fleisch wird ausgelaugt. Und geben dann unser Bouquet Garni dazu. A bouquet Garni of carrot, celery, yellow turnip, leek and yellow onion is added to the soup. Ein Stückchen Sellerie, eine halbe Lauchstange. The soup is seasoned with peppercorns, bay leaf, parsley and grated fresh nutmeg. Einige Pfefferkörner. Und ein bisschen Muskatnuss. Die kann man entweder mit einer Muskatreibe reingeben oder so mit einem Sparschäler. Beim Kochen kein Salz dazu geben. The meat is then covered and cooked slowly over low heat until tender, about two and a half hours. About halfway through cooking, the soup is skimmed and salted. Gemüse wird jetzt attraktiv geschnitten, am besten mit einem Chartreusmesser. Besonders saftig ist ein Schulterscherzel durch diesen Teil. Half will be served with the vegetables and half breaded and fried in rapeseed oil. This Austrian staple is a common frying oil that is low in saturated fat. It is the rage among low-fat gurus in North America, where it is known as canola oil. 
with the honey in. Before dredging the meat and flour, it is coated with mustard and seasoned with salt and pepper. It is then washed in egg and coated with breadcrumbs. Once browned, the meat is removed from the oil and drained. Preparation of the Savoy cabbage begins by having, coring, and chopping a head of cabbage. Beim Kohl werden die Außenblätter abgeschnitten. Dann wird er halbiert. Der Strunk herausgeschnitten. Und grob nudelig geschnitten. It is then blanched in boiling salt water. This helps the cabbage retain both its color and flavor. After about 10 minutes, the cabbage is drained and rinsed in cold water. And with cold water, a little bit abgeschreckt. Da schreckt das zwar nicht, aber kriegt die schöne grüne Farbe. Potatoes are omnipresent in Viennese cuisine. Their omission from a dish with the patriotic foundations of boiled beef would be an act some Austrians might construe as treasonous. In this dish, they are to be combined with the cabbage and a cream sauce. The potatoes are halved and partially peeled. Saving the peel also saves valuable minerals and vitamins. Ein bisschen auch gleich groß werden, damit sie auch gleichzeitig. Red and yellow onion are finely chopped and are sauteed with fresh garlic slices. Wenn man so zweimal reinschneidet, wird er sehr fein dann. Dann braucht man keine Maschine dafür bemühen. Knoblauch brauchen wir nur ein ganz kleines Stück. Mit Obers aufgießen. Chef Bukinga then adds about four ounces of heavy cream and the peeled potatoes to the sauteed onions. Die Kartoffeln beifügen. He then strains broth from the cooked meat mixture into the cream and potatoes. After cooking the potatoes for about 20 minutes, fresh parsley and the blanched cabbage are added. As an accompaniment to the fried beef, Chef Bukinga grates together sour apples, horseradish, and raw beet, which he seasons with salt and pepper, lemon juice, and sugar. And a piece of pepper. He then shapes the mixture into canals for presentation.
presentation begins with the Savoy cabbage and potatoes. The typical Viennese will often consume the largest meal of the day at noon, with the evening reserved for light affair, all of which makes sense if one eats five meals daily. This light last stop on the day's gastronomic journey can consist of anything from soups to fluffy omelets to Chef Bukinga's final offering, fried strawberries with white wine parfait. A critical ingredient in the parfait is wine, but Austrian ice wine is no simple white wine. It is the product of picking grapes that are frozen on the vine and pressing them before they thaw. Its hearty, sweet flavor lends itself particularly well to the preparation of desserts and, of course, drinking. Chef Buchinger adds the egg yolks to the ice vine and begins beating the mixture into a sabayon. Das wird zu einem sabayon aufgeschlagen. Bei einem Eiswein braucht man sicherlich keinen Zucker dazugeben, der ist so reich an Zucker und Extraktstoffen. The chef adds the softened gelatin to the warmed mixture. A caution here is to beware of too much heat and avoid transforming this mixture into scrambled eggs. The mixture is finished when it is very frothy and bubbly. In der Zwischenzeit wird jetzt dann das Schlagobst. Fresh heavy cream is first beaten. Die beiden Massen vorsichtig zusammen. And then gently mixed with the cooled Sabayon. The combination is then poured into molds and frozen. Kühler einfrieren. Von dem vorhergehenden Teig. The batter for the fried strawberries begins with beaten egg whites. Und schlagen schön auf. Egg yolks are mixed with cream, ice wine, and flour. And etwas ice wine. 
Sie abströmen. Mehl ganz wenig, denn das macht uns nur dick. The batter is completed by folding the egg whites into the egg yolk ice fine mixture. Fresh strawberries are dipped in the batter and then fried in rapeseed or canola oil. The unmolded parfait is topped with the fried strawberries and garnished with star anise and pureed strawberries. And now this menu, hot curdle chanterelle soup, variation on shoulder tip with savoy cabbage, and baked strawberries with ice vine parfait. Chef Bookinger particularly recommends ice vine from Vine Reader Vineyards with a parfait. This menu, courtesy of the Four Seasons Restaurant in the Intercontinental Hotel, and Chef Manfred Bookinger.